So the unitary method is where we are trying to find the size of one unit. And once we have that, we use that to solve the problem. So our first step is to find the value of one unit. One value of a unit. Are we writing this? Yes, we are. Our second step is to use it to solve the problem. Now we use this method for percentages in the last topic. Today we're going to look at how we can use this method for ratio questions and for rate questions. So our first example... Are you going to watch this video, Miss? We have done the unitary method with percentages. Okay? What we're going to do is the same method, but with ratios and with rates. So we're going to start with a ratios question. So a really simple example. Uh, in this example, we have... Uh, $47 and it's split. Stop, Sam. <laughs> Sam is being The ratio are uh, three to five. Okay. We want to work out what the three and the five are. We need to split this 47 into the correct number of parts. We need to know how big one part is. 47 is how many parts? 5.875. Eight. How many parts? Eight. 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 We have eight. eight parts. So we know that eight parts is 47. Now, this is money. So how accurate do we have to be? Oh, zero. Zero. Two decimal eight places. Decimal places. Okay. So eight parts okay. is forty-seven. Okay. If I divide by eight, I get what one part is. So I divided by eight. What did I get, Bailey? I don't remember. Um, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Five point eight seven five. Five point eight seven five. How many decimal places do I actually know? It's money. But it's money. Five point eight seven. Okay, so 5.88 is the money round and correct to two decimal places. Now, money always has to be the two decimal places, but this is my working out, so I'm going to kind of break that rule and keep the 875 that Bailey said, so that I don't get rounding error later on. That's a five. Oh, yeah. Weird Callum. Okay, so I'm going to work out what the first guy gets. $17.64. I'm not here. Yeah. That's enough. Okay, so I'm going to work out what three parts is. I know one what? part is this. So how do I work out what three parts are? Times one. Yeah. Just times it by three. So I grab a calculator, I type it in. What do I get? Uh, 17.6. 17.625, but this is my yeah, actual right. answer now. <laughs> it's a five, so I do I round up or leave it <laughs> You round it up, so it should be six three. Okay? Nick, you have the most package laugh ever. Don't judge me. So I know that's 17. 17, sorry. That's actually really true. So $17.63 for the first one. Okay, then we want to do five parts. Now remember, five parts, we're taking the one part answer, which is 5.875. Vic? Yeah. You need to be writing these notes down. Oh, I am. That's what I'm doing. And then we're timesing it by five. Okay, so eight points, uh, 5.875 times by five, what do we get on the calculators? 29.375. 29 29.375 29 until 0.38. Yeah, there we go, mate. So remember, our answer for money must have two decimal places. We made an exception here, Sam. We made an exception because we wanted our answer yet. We're just doing our working out. We didn't want to introduce rounding error. 
Okay. 